it's EG the Gadget Goddess and I have my nephew Ethan with me today and we are gonna unbox a rinky case for the Galaxy Z Fold 2. I'm sorry Ethan, I wasn't trying to cover your face up. Right now I have the Ari Bonnet Diary case on my phone and now I'm looking for something a little different, more like a whole case. So Ethan said he wanted to be in the video. He's gonna sit over here and play with the dog and I'm gonna unbox this for you. Let's get started. So now we got the case out of the box. It's clear. I wanted a clear mat. They weren't in stock. So we'll see how the clear works. It's probably gonna be a fingerprint magnet. You know what a fingerprint magnet is, Ethan? No. You don't know what that is? Yeah, I don't know what it is. That means you get a whole bunch of fingerprints on the back of the case. I am hopeful that it does not have a thick front. This is another clear case. It'll be similar to my Gear 4 case. Got the protective dots on the back and there's a nice little smear on the front. That's not good. Yeah, you see that smear, Ethan? Right yeah. there? Yeah. Needs to be cleaned off. It's kind of sticky though. Might have to go back. We'll see. A few minutes later. Just came back from in the house, picked up a Zeiss wipe. I'm gonna try to clean this case off if this stuff doesn't come off. Sticky stuff that's on here, we're gonna send this case back. I worked hard to get it clean. Now let's see if the case actually works. I don't know what the smudge was, y'all. But it wasn't pretty looking, I'll tell you that. Back first. Still has a nice little smudge back there. I don't know if that's the smudge for me after I wiped it off or what. And here's the front. Now, as you can see, there's a black little line in there that's gonna hold the case in place on the front. That avoids putting that two-sided tape that a lot of these companies are doing. Smudge, smudge, smudge. There's some more of that black padding here up top, which I don't think you would really notice as much. And on the bottom, which I don't think you would notice on the black case if you had that one. But you're gonna notice everything on a clear case. Here's a little bit of rinky branding here. And there's a place for a lanyard here, which they sent me one with the iPhone cases they sent me. So I might have to try that out. That'd be nice to carry my phone around my neck or around my wrist nice it is thinner than my gear 4 crystal palace case let's talk about how thin this case is it's pretty thin y'all what i'm gonna do is because i see my screen protector is showing like it has bubbles over here i'm wondering if my case is caused these little bubbles right here so we're gonna wipe those back down and put our case back on because i have some at the top too Y'all know I went with the matte screen protector and people constantly ask me how it's working for me and it's working fine. But sometimes some of these cases cause them to be lifted a little bit. There isn't a huge lip on this one. Look how thin that is. That is awesome for gestures. I unlocked the phone for y'all, awesome. Charging port, my speaker and my mic down here. Everything's pushed in great. My speaker mic here everything's pushed in great i have a slight lip for my camera the slightest of slight lips but a lip and i have a thin front piece you see sometimes i might have to wipe more than once but it's not as thick as any case i've tried this is the thinnest one i've used ever another thing i thought about and this was one of the things i discovered thinking this weekend I said one hand operation has a setting to where you can come in and the touch with, see I can make it come in further or go further in, right? I made it as big as I can. That way if I had the thicker cases, it would still register me all the way out here, even if I didn't pull from the side of the screen. If they did an update with theirs, then all of these cases that I've been reviewing would work with a phone. I don't know if somebody needs to put a bug in Samsung's ear, but if one 
hand operation plus can work like this why can't the side gestures no case is gonna okay first time on that try but no case is gonna give you the satisfaction coming from the side without concentration that no case on the front would do and i think that's why samsung made all of their cases to have no front although we all want front protection i really think this is the closest to perfection that i've found to date i'm not going to get rid of my are case i do enjoy it as well it gives me a more professional look if i want the whole thing covered and I've also received a lot of questions about my hinge protector, which came with my screen protector. It does not impede my phone from opening and closing. It is thick as a screen protector, not a tempered glass, just a regular screen protector. And it doesn't go from edge to edge. So when people say they're concerned about my bristles getting messed up from me opening and closing the device, that's not gonna be a problem because the hinge protector covers mostly just your Samsung that part right there from getting scratched up the these pieces here if you can see there's a gap there so it doesn't go from edge to edge so thanks for all your concerns I don't really think that that's gonna be a problem I'm really liking this case this is the clear one they have a matte one and they have a black one I would really like to have the matte one Ricky did tell me they were gonna send me some of these cases I did pay for this one with my own money I am happy I finally came across a case that is usable. Everything works. Volume up and down. I'm I'm in heaven right now. If you're still on the hunt for a clear case that works well with your Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G, head on over to Amazon. I'll put an affiliate link in the description. Grab you one of these cases and you're going to be good to go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for those who subscribe. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. Make sure you grab one of these. Holla!